Right, so here's what run really big one that I would say um, the majority you can probably enable pretty quickly. And that is disabling the ability to do device code logins. Um, hmm. So <clears throat> if you're not familiar with device code logins, it is, I would say, like the new hotness for phishing attacks. Um, and it's something that I would say the majority of your employees aren't going to be using. Um, <clears throat> so device code logins, if, if you think about, um, if you've ever logged into your TV, uh, if you've ever logged into something like Netflix or Hulu or Disney Plus or any any of the, like the, the streaming services on your TV, um, you go to your TV and it says, all right, well, instead of you entering your long password, which you all have, right? Like long passwords for your accounts. Um, here's a six digit code. Take that right. six digit code to your phone where you're already authenticated or to your computer where you're already authenticated and enter that code. And now magically your TV is authenticated, right? So Microsoft has the exact same thing. It's called Microsoft Device Code Authentication. So I can be logged into my browser, right, as my user, and I can go to a completely different system and do what's called a device code auth, where I can authenticate another browser without actually using a password. I just use a, like, it's like, a, I think, an eight-digit, you know, code, basically. Um, and so this is what we're doing now, um, and, and something that I think that you could probably disable pretty easily through conditional access. And... Um, <clears throat> From a phishing perspective, the way it looks is I would generate that code on my side, send it to you as a victim and say, hey, go to Microsoft.com slash device login and enter this code, you know, build a ruse around it, say, you know, hey, I'm with security and, um, you know, we need to, you know, validate your your session or something, you know, you got to think of a ruse. Um, and what the victim would then do, go to Microsoft.com slash device login, enter that code. And now all the all of a sudden, my external browser is authenticated as that user.